What is up, people? Any tier guild forever, however you want to call me. Let me just get rid of this. I don't need this right now. Whoops. So we are going to be talking about Shiki episodes 12, 13, 14. These were... My God. The two key points of what I saw, these three episodes. Um, Natsuno's father being a complete idiot completely oblivious to what's going on and literally caused his son to die he was the cause of his son's death i know you can say maybe he's a little bit more strict on others helping because one he's not so fond of religious and two he is he doesn't want to make the same mistake that he went through with that girl when she just blindly went into his house and now she he distrusts everyone okay fair enough i'll give you credit for that you shouldn't trust anyone but here's the thing those are kids but I once again I sympathize with him in the sense that he doesn't want to let just anyone into Natsuno's room because he's afraid that they're gonna do something to him. That's why they made he he made sure he was protective of him, not letting just anyone enter the house. I get that, but still, if you're aware that there's a bunch of people in this village that are not trustworthy, why did you bother living here still? You should have left with your wife. And your kid out of here. That way, you don't got to worry about this problem anymore. What's the best place to live to avoid these creatures? Simple, my friend. The city. You go to the city, there'll, there'll be no need to... You won't have to worry about these things. Because I'm pretty sure these Risens or vampires, however you want to call them, they do not like go about their business into the city because the moment people find out what they're doing in the city bro they're gonna get freaking caught in no time less than a week even they're gonna there's reports are gonna come in um evidence might be recorded like it, it's almost impossible to get away with these things in the city they will get caught and not to mention, though, if they're caught in the city, they're going to be known more worldwide. Meaning that even if they somehow escape, even if let's just say they do their business in the city, right? They escape after being caught or whatever. They're going to be broadcasted everywhere. Everyone in the world is going to know about these shiki things. Meaning, even if they go to another village or another place or whatever, people will know about them and there will be nothing left. They'll, they're they're nowhere to hide so yeah in my opinion the the dad wife i mean by the time by the time natsuno was start wasn't feeling feeling that great it it, all, it was already clear to a point that um his wife was also you know she got bitten meaning even if he left there probably would be some kind of hypnosis i'm not sure if it would work on well, it did kind of work on Natsuno, even when he wasn't bitten. So, the hypnosis would pre prevent them from leaving. But still, I would have, I would have grabbed my kid, grabbed my wife, be like, you know what, we're out of here. Don't freaking argue with me. We're 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 bouncing. We're leaving. We ain't staying here. Okay, we're going to the city like you wanted, and bam, we don't gotta worry about nothing. And I bet these vampires wouldn't have the golly or the nerve. To go, to go to the city to, to try to get uh, Natsuno and his family. So yeah, in my opinion, if he left as soon as he found out something was going on with this village, there would have still been hope for him and his family. But still, he decided to be a stubborn father and make things more difficult despite, ha despite not realizing that the obvious salute, like the easiest... The solution to this problem is so simple. You just need to leave this village and go somewhere where there's more people, a city, a town, and you should be fine. But no, you still wanted to stay despite already suspecting that, uh, not suspecting, but um, believing that almost everyone in the village are your enemy. They're suspicious, like this place isn't safe. Yet you still decided to stay and can and risk your family once again i don't care where we go i don't care if we leave the house or maybe i or you know what you could do you could live somewhere else like uh like grandparents or other people or other family members that you know live with them and then you could easily 
you could easily just be over there and still keep your house residence there. You just won't be actively living in the house, but still taking care of it by doing payments and such and such. That way, even if you're gone, you still have property. You still have the house and everything around it is your property. So but you can just wait in the city until this all calms down and it looks like there's no more deaths, no more death reports, no more issues. Then you can go back. And by then, I feel like, let's just say Natsuno and his family managed to escape the issue. There's no way they're going to follow the vampires. They're not going to follow them the moment he enters into the city. So from there, all they're going to do is possibly just ignore him. Or this is what they're going to do. They're going to do one of these things. Number one, they're going to leave immediately because he'll pretty much... They live in the city. Word is going to get out. And then peop and then more people from cities will go over there to address the issue. So if that happens, the vampires have to leave. They have to leave. Otherwise, others are going to come in and further look at this issue. So yeah, in my opinion, um, if he manages... I don't think the vampires would have let him escape, though. I I'm going to be honest with you. I think they would probably... If, if he's leaving, like, if he, like, grabs kids, grab everyone, just starts booking it out of the city, the vampires would most likely become aware of this and would do something about it. But, hypothetically, if he did manage to leave and escape this village, escape his fate along with his family, the vampires will either leave or ignore him and just consume everyone that's here. And once everyone is consumed and there's no one's left, it's just a village filled with vampires... They're more than likely just either going to leave the village and move on to another area or who knows what will happen. All I know is that if Yuki's family, Yuki and his family leave, they should, they would, they would have been fine. Because I'm not sure if the vampires in, intend to being here forever, unless they do plan to live here. <laughs> unless they do plan to live here, but then... The, some people might go into the city or other villages to bring in blood and everything. Like, they'll settle here, keep this place because it's in the middle of nowhere. No one knows where they are. No one knows what happens here except the people residing into the village. So, yeah, in my opinion, I feel like they would leave to go for another village to conquer and consume. Or they would stay here and only have a certain number of vampires go into the city to resupply in blood. So, that it's, it's one or the other. So yeah, um, I will have to say it was a little tough to watch seeing Doctor the Doctor Ozaki just test every possible killing method that would normally like you know kill a human off to see to so how he can handle these vampires and just seeing his what I know she was kind of a beep I know she kind of was but still. Just seeing her crying and moan, moaning and pleading, pleading while she cries out his name, was really was really horrible to watch. Honestly, I don't think I could have personally done it if I was in his situation. I probably would have tried to come up with a prop, probable cause. I mean, now I kind of understand why Yuki decided to give his blood up to Toru, even though if it meant him dying. I mean. I mean, do, do they need, like, blood? Like, how long, like, how so how so often do vampires require the, the thirst for blood? Like, is it every freaking day? Because if it's every freaking day, then, yeah. What? It, how are you going to take care of your wife if she needs blood every freaking day? If it's, like, once a month or once a year, that is manageable. But if it's, like, every freaking day, even once a week is pushing it. But, yeah, if that was the situation... I saw no other way but to kill her. End her suffering and... Yeah. One could argue for argument's sake. You could just join the vampire site. That way you don't have to go through this hardship. But the thing is. Even if you get killed. Get bitten. And could rise as a vampire. Not everyone rises. That's been proven. So yeah. In my opinion. There's no point. There's no point in really like. Dying. Dying. Like, if it was, okay, look, if it was guaranteed, if it was guaranteed that if you die, you come back no matter what, then sure, 
it's not that big of an issue. I would even, if I was in that situation, I probably would have let them turn me into a vampire because I don't feel like dealing with this crap. Or escape, and if I can't escape, it's like, well, what the heck can you freaking do? Just get bitten. But if there is no guarantee you'll come back, then hell no. I'm fighting back. I don't care. I'm fighting back. There's no way I'm get, I'm letting anyone bite me. But once again, I it's hard. It was really, really hard looking at Ozaki's wife just go through all that pain and suffering. I'm not going to lie to you. A huge part of me kind of felt bad for her. Like, I really wanted her to, like... I kind of wish there was something you can do to help her other than, you know... Once again, that was just really hard for me to watch. I, like I said, I don't think I could have done it if that was my wife. I don't think I could have. Because it would have been too painful. But obviously it shows that he cares about his wife. And he had to grow a heart of stone just to do what he did. Damn. Anyway, guys, let's just go through the questions. Question one. If you were in Ozaki's situation... Would do you think you would have you would have had the strength to do what he did, whether if it was your wife or it was your husband? So this applies to boys and girls. If it was your wife, if you were a doctor, whether you're male or female, and it was your wife or your husband that was on the table right then, right there, would you have done what Ozaki had done, or would you handle the situation differently? And if you do, if you you would have handled it differently, how? And explain to me why. Question two. What is your opinions of Megumi's character? Do you like her? Do you dislike her? Explain to me why. I feel like most people don't like her because really what is likable about her? She just comes off as a huge beep. Like I really, I don't see how do you like this girl. It's one thing if you like Kaori because her character is sweet and nice. And you're going to say Megumi is like just a certain arc stereotype. She is unlikable. It's one thing to be a tsundere. It's one thing to be like an emotion, emotionless character, a certain persona. But I do not see one redeeming or likable. You can be like, at least she likes Yuki, but she's look what she's doing to Kaori. She killed his her father. And now she's not hesitating to make her suffer. Why? Why would you make Kaori suffer? She has done nothing but be nice to you. She has done nothing but become nice to you. And yet, you still treat her this bad. Why? Why would you do that? There is no need to do that to her. Like, again, I just don't see a likable... I don't see how she is likable at all. At all. At all. Like, period, point blank. And if you think she's likable, then explain it to me. Explain it to me because I don't see it. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Don't forget to like, comment, sub if you haven't already. It really motivates me to put more content out there for you guys as my guildmates. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. I apologize if I haven't been uploading um, more uh, Shiki recently. I've been doing other things and folk and plus the stream. The, the streams drain me. The streams do drain me sometimes. But um, tomorrow we will be doing more Shiki. More than likely four episodes. Then after that, there is legitimately only four episodes left of the series. With that being said, we are definitely going to finish off the series as a whole completely. So, we did three tonight. Tomorrow we are definitely going to be doing Shiki. Count on it. So, four for sure. And then after that, the next day, literally the next time I record Shiki will be the last day because I'm going to do all four episodes also. So yeah, for those of you wondering for Shiki. But yeah, guys. Um, yeah, see you in the next video. Peace.